The trailer was absolutely awesome. I totally buy Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. He doesn't look the part either. But, like I said, same same exact argument I, I made for Wonder Woman. Let's make this equal. For a dude, I'm not going to leave him off the hook, too. Or the casting director. I'm not going to leave the casting director off the hook for casting him as um, Lex Luthor. Um, or even the, the director for not asking um, Jesse Eisenberg to shave his head. I mean, that's a kind of an icon, is a bald Lex Luthor. Does that mean... It won't happen ever again. No, it does not mean that. It does not mean that won't happen in the movie. That could happen in the movie, and that at the, by the end of the movie, he has like a freak accident with the the Zod thing that that um, happens to turn into the big spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the trailer, and you're just listening to it and figure, oh, I just listened to him talk about it. Spoiler alert! At the end of the trailer, we see the appearance of Doomsday just crashing down out of a. Uh, out of a building, or from the top of a building, and you're like, dude. I, I said, so in the trailer, you see Batman almost finish the words, oh shit. I, it's like, right before he said that, right before he said that, I said, audibly, pretty loud, nobody was home, so I just said it, oh shit. And then it happened, I was like, this is gonna be so good. Like, that is an ultimate... That's an ultimate Superman character. There doesn't become a more scary villain in the, in the the Superman timeline because there's either there's either I mean Solomon Grundy is definitely for Batman, but he's done some stuff to Superman. There's all kinds there's all kinds of reasons to be afraid of uh, of of doomsday i won't spoil that for anybody who doesn't read the comics because i know there's a lot of people who are just watching the movies which is you know totally acceptable i'm not one of those people who's like oh you gotta go watch the you gotta go read the books or else you're not a true fan no i don't i don't believe in that i think i think there's people who like certain types of media and if you don't like the media that comes in a paper form then you shouldn't read it like that's that's what it comes down to if you don't like that media don't read it I, that's that's my bottom line or don't don't consume it and uh, I happen to really like comic books, so I consume it, and that's the end, end, of, end of the story. Um, so I won't spoil that, but Doomsday is a great character. I think, I think we're all going to like it. I think we're all going to absolutely love the fact that he is our, one of our main villains, and then Lex Luthor is going to be, I think he's going to become our Thanos of the current Marvel Universe, and he's going to actually be a villain for a while. Um, I think Doomsday will come back as well. I don't think he'll be killed off in this movie. Um, he'll probably come back for a Man of Steel 2 or something like that, or Man of Steel 3, and then he might be a, future, a later character. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think, I think we're in good hands so far. I think everything we've seen with the movie, um, is good. Is a good sign. Is it, is a sign I, I have faith in what's going on. Um, so we can we can stop talking about Batman right there. You can hear me getting out of my radio voice and into my excited voice, which is never a good sign, right? Right? I don't know. Do you like do you like the excitement? Talk to me. Tell tell me about it. Um, but <laughs> I'm really this 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 freaking Switch Galaxy Ultra is getting uh kind of challenging to the point where I now I have to go back and do this level because I don't have enough tokens to move on to the next one. Tentalum. So we're gonna go back and do that. Um, I didn't get any. I didn't get any from that one. How are we supposed to do that? How do you do that? I don't know how to get more. I don't know what I'm doing to get more. Do you have to like rank in something? Quick travel. No. Can I not do this one again? Can I do quick travel? Did I just use some? No, I didn't use any. I'm just gonna do this one again. Okay. Um, okay, what else? What else is in the in the world? I know that uh, Star Wars is in the world. My, my book came out. If you guys don't know, gals, girls, boys, men, women, gentlemen, ladies, if you don't know what I do for a living, I am an author. I write all kinds of things. Um, but the things I've been... Oh, that didn't work out. The things I've been published in is mostly uh, Prima Games material, which if you don't know who Prima Games is, it's the official strategy guide company of basically the video game world, the video game industry. Um, they write, they, they, they publish and, and um, develop books under Penguin Random House. 
that have to do with video games. Uh, the one of the most recent games to come out is Just Cause 2 at this or Just Cause 3 at this point. Um, you've seen games like Tomb, Rise of the Tomb Raider and, and everything. But my, my point is, I was the lead writer on the Star Wars Battlefront book. Uh, the official strategy guide. You can find that at any of your retailers. It doesn't matter. This is not, I'm not selling out. I'm not doing a sellout thing. Um, although the whole point of this is to show you guys this obviously very challenging, very fun game. While talking to you about my life. And what's going on in it um but i wrote that that took about you know just over a month to write so we had a pretty short deadline they usually take about two to three months to write um and yeah but it was a bunch of fun it was very rewarding i i'm very proud of the book i think it's absolutely excellent um but yeah, if you if you are a big Star Wars fan and you want to get the collector's edition, it comes with four lithographs of each planet that was in the um, in the shipped game, which is Hoth, Solust, Endor, and Tatooine. The lithographs are eight by tens. You can put them in the, in any regular picture frame, essentially. Um, they're very cool. I, I think the the quality on them are, are absolutely amazing. So if you want, if you're a big Star Wars fan, go check them out. But uh, I know if you're a big Star Wars fan and you don't get that, you're probably going to go see the movie, which happens in n nine days from me recording this. Holy crap. Nine days. Are you kidding me right now? That is, that is absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what else to say about that. That is ridiculous. That is something that I could not imagine. I remember, I remember it being announced and just sitting back and going... Yeah, that'll be cool. I'm not gonna get super excited about it because I don't like getting excited and then waiting. I'm a pretty good and patient waiter. Not a, you know what I mean. Like I can wait for things. I'm pretty patient, but that's under the contention of I don't get excited about it. It really that matters. Like as long as like if, if I don't get excited about it, I will wait for it. Oh my goodness, I am just I'm losing all over the place. If I don't get excited about it, I will wait for it. I'll wait years for it. But right now, I'm starting to get excited about it. And these ne these next ten days, nine days, are going to be super long. They are. I know they are. Um, however, I was able to wait for it until until I just you know saw the date. I was able to wait for it, so to believe that this is coming out in nine days is is very, very, it's a strange feeling. Like, it's hitting me right now. You guys are hearing it for the first time of this this reaction of how strange it is. Uh, because I remember seeing the re-releases. I'm, I'm not that old, but I'm, I'm, I remember seeing the re-releases in the theaters of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi when I was a kid. I was pretty young at that point. Um... So I saw those in the re-releases. I didn't. I was not. I did not see them in the 70s and 80s when they came out. So I was not an original Star Wars fan. But I was there, and I love the Star Wars universe. I'm a big Star Trek fan as well. Don't get me wrong. So those of you who don't know me, I like it all. Okay, I'm a big sci-fi fan. I will watch most things sci-fi. I'm a big Firefly fan, um, Deep Space Nine, The Next Generation. Um, I need to watch some Stargate. I have not seen Stargate. So I'm not maybe I'm not that big of a fan, but I, that's just because I haven't gotten around to it. I will be watching that very soon, as it's been um, it has been recommended to me several times. I just I get lazy or I forget about it. So unless somebody forces me to do it, I usually don't do it, just because I'm doing something else. Like it's not because it's on my mind. And it's just like oh, I just consciously I'm not going to do that. It's just, I just don't get around to it. That's just really, that's really what happens. But I'm, yeah, I did it. Yay, I did it. Cool. Um, but I will get around to it. I will be watching Stargate very soon. Um, so there's that. Uh, where was I? I lost my stream of thought. Oh, Star Wars. So yeah, go see Star Wars. And then we can talk about it after I've seen it, which will probably be on the 18th. I probably won't see it on the 17th. I did not get tickets because I, I don't like doing that stuff. I don't like stressing myself out as um, I do everything I can to not get anxious, because when I get anxious, my chest starts to hurt and things start to happen. In fact, it's something we talk about very, very often on, um, on my stream. It's not like, I don't, 
I don't get I don't get anxiety attacks. I just get anxious and feel sick. Um, the big thing we talk about is depression, which I do get quite often. Uh, I'm chronically depressed. It's not something that, you know, can be... It's not something that my life affects. I mean, it, it kind of is in, in, in a way. I, I, some things trigger it, but in the, for the most part, it's just, it's just chemical stuff that happens in my head. And I think those, are the, those yellow things I'm supposed to be getting. I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh god, come on Dan, you can do this. Think, think Dan, you can do this. Um, oh wait, is it the credit? Those, those are credit things. I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Anyway, um, so I talk about depression and I read an article today, that's the reason I brought it up, I read an article today that was telling, was, was it was about like nine or ten things that people that suffer from anxiety want you to know and a lot of it had to do with the reason people are introverted and the reason people are, are sometimes extroverted because of that because they don't want to they want to be around their friends uh, that makes them feel better uh, I know a lot of people that are like that um, a lot of friends a lot of people who often try to hang try to get me to hang out when I'm not feeling up to it and that's not their fault that's that's what makes them feel better so why should I deny that of them because you know I'm dealing with stuff too that's that's the only reason it's the only reason it's because I'm dealing with something and uh, I just I, I looking out for myself and that that's sometimes that's selfish but at the same time if I don't take care of myself like you're gonna you're gonna be miserable hanging around me you don't want to you don't want to be around me when, when it's like that but um, back to my point is I get I get chronically depressed and we talk about that a lot on stream and there's a lot of people especially you know if you're gonna if you're watching YouTube right now or you're you, you hang out in my twitch channel you there's a statistically stati statistically saying you probably suffer from chronic depression or anxiety that is just a statistic it has nothing to do with you may be the special one I mean it's good if you don't suffer from it like good man like take advantage of it don't feel you shouldn't feel out of the club there is no club in fact you really don't want to be a part of this club it's not a fun club um with that being said like i'm not it's not something that you should pity it's something that we've i think a lot of us has learned to deal with um me i think streaming for the past seven seven months now yeah Oh wow, seven months. Uh, streaming for the past seven months has really helped it. I have I have a lovely supporting uh, community, and I, I'm talking to you guys right now. So if like guys and gals, thank you. I, I'll say thank you right now because it really means a lot to me that you uh, you come to my streams every time, you watch my videos, you you do all those things. Like it, it really it really does mean a lot. Listen to my podcast, what what have you? All those things that really really like it, it's what. It's what keeps me going. Like I'm still gonna stream. I'm still gonna make content. It's it's what I was. It's what I feel like I was born to do. But at the same time, it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to.